What's up guys, this is my UFC uh, on FX Johnson vs McCall uh, prediction video. I'm just going to fly through the preliminaries that are on Fuel TV quick. Uh, Jake Hesh, Sean Pearson, I'm going for Jake Hesh. Uh, Henry Martinez vs Bernardo Magalhaes, I'm going for Bernardo Magalhaes. Uh, Buddy Roberts vs Chao Magalhaes, I'm going for Chao Magalhaes. Tim Means, Justin Sales, I'm going for Tim Means. Dustin Paig versus Gerard uh, Papazan, I'm going for Dustin Paig. Uh, Lennon Garcia, Matt Grice, I'm going for Lennon Garcia. Mike Pierce, Carlos Eduardo Rocca, I'm going for Mike Pierce. And Seth Bozinski versus Lance Bernoist, I'm going for Seth Bozinski. Now, on to the more important things. We have the main card. So the first fight on the main card is a bantamweight fight for, uh, for with uh, Eddie Wineland uh, against Josh Josh Scott Jorgensen. Can't get my words out. Um, Eddie Wineland's on a two-fight skid at the moment, uh, losing streak, lost to Uriah Faber, uh, and last time out he lost to Joseph Benavides. Uh, we've got Scott Jorgensen who's coming off a loss. He lost to Henan Barrow. Uh, I'm going for Scott Jorgensen in this fight because I think he's going to be able to keep it standing and just make it into a... I don't think it's going to be a very exciting fight, to be honest. I think it's going to be... I think it's going to go the way of his fight versus Henan Barrow, but he's going to take the place of Henan Barrow and just be the more... Uh, just be the cleaner striker, really, and just make it into a bit of a sloppy kickboxing fight. Um, so I'm going for Scott Jorgensen, you know, decision. Next fight is Mike Pyle, Josh Neer. Um, this is the hardest one for me to call because they're pretty much on par with each other, skill-wise. I think Josh Neer may be more well-rounded, purely because he's, I think, a a bit more seasoned than in, in one in the UFC he's had about I think four stints now in the UFC this is obviously he's obviously 2-0 and at the moment uh, both finishes uh, beat Dwayne Ludwig last, time, Ludwig last time out Mike Pearl last time out beat um, Ricardo Funch in Brazil I'm going for Josh Neer I think he's going to be able to stop part Mike Pyle and I think it's going to be either a second or third round stoppage. Um, I don't know how he's going to do it, but it's definitely going to be a stoppage. Uh, either a submission or TKO. Next fight is Eric Silva versus Charlie Brenneman. I think everyone will remember Eric Silva from uh, the fight he had with Carlo Prater, where he should have won the fight. Uh, but you know who... You know who that ref, uh, Mr. I'll stop it whenever, um, gave it a DQ because for apparently he was punching the back of the head where he was clearly punching the side of the face. He was clearly punching him here. I think he might have clipped him once, once, like the last punch, clipped him at the back, but it was, it was like kind of here, if you get what I mean. It wasn't really the back of the head. Um... And it was actually one or two punches, and you're going to DQ the fighter for one or two punches in the heat of the moment when you've knocked him down, he's virtually out. That's ridiculous. That's bullshit. Um, Charlie Brenneman, uh, there was a bit of hype about this guy before he lost to Anthony Johnson. I don't really dig him. I think he's a fucking bum. I don't think he's... Uh, I mean, he's got some good wrestling. Uh, okay, stand-up. Uh, nothing really to write home about. Um, I think Eric Silva's going to fuck his world up uh, really quick. Uh, I think Eric Silva's going to go out there with something to prove and to prove, like, listen, yeah, don't worry, I won't punch the back of the head, but I'm just going to fucking punch you in your teeth until they come out of your asshole. I think that's what's going to happen in this fight. Uh, next fight, uh, main event to see who's going to fight Joseph Benavidez for the flyweight championship of the world. Um, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson versus Ian Uncle Creepy McCall. Now, 
just going to go on to why he calls himself Uncle Creepy. That just sounds really creepy. You know, it sounds really rapey. You know, like, yeah, I'm Uncle Creepy. But, anyway, uh, dude's a bad motherfucker. Um, he had a little stint in the WC. Not too successful. Beat Cody Wheeler. Lost to Charles Valencia. And then lost to Dominic Cruz via unanimous, unanimous decision. Dropped down to flyweight. He made his debut against the number one flyweight in the world. Uh, Jesus De Silva. Beat him unanimous decision. And then beat two other kind of no-name really fighters in that division. Um, but he's the number one guy at the moment at flyweight because he beat the number one guy. Uh, had a draw with... Uh, <coughs> with uh, Mighty Mouse uh, back in Australia in March, uh, not that long ago. Um, shouldn't have been a draw, as most of you know. It should have gone to a final round, uh, but a fuck up with the uh, judges ruled it a unanimous decision for Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, which robbed us of an extra round, which would have been a classic fight. Um, to go back to the previous fight that they had, um, I think if it had gone to find another round, Ian McCall would have won. Um, I say that because in that last round, he really, really turned it on. Um, and I think the momentum was with him. And I think he would have... If he, I don't think he would have finished Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, but I think he definitely would have come away with that winning that last round. And uh, winning the fight. Uh, Mighty Mouse. Um, for me, Mighty Mouse gets a lot of a lot of like, wow, you know, this guy's so good. He's, you know, he was number two in the division previously. For me, the only good guy he's really beaten, like, of any name value or anything, is Miguel Torres. And this is Miguel Torres. A year ago, when he came into the UFC, and at the time, Miguel Torres was. He he lost to Brian Bars, lost to uh, Joseph Benavides, and he beat Charlie Valencia and Antonio Bandalonis. Fair enough, he was coming in as a bit of unknown territory to see where he really was. But after this fight, he lost this fight. I think everyone knew he was on a he was on a slide, and he was coming down as you know we saw. He just lost, got knocked out, clean. Cold by Michael McDonald. Um, I'm picking Ian McCall in this fight. I don't think it's, he's going to finish it, but I think this is going to go all five rounds. Is it five rounds? Um, I wonder if it is going to be five rounds. Um, the previous one was four rounds. I think it's because they were doing it all in one night, wasn't it? But um, I wonder if this is going to be three round or a five rounder. Um, it doesn't say. Uh, here on Wikipedia, because I would assume because it's the main event, uh, it would be a five round fight. Um, anyway, I think Ian McCall's going to take this fight um, via unanimous decision. Um, it's going to be a really exciting fight card. I mean, the only fights that aren't, I don't think it's going to be too fantastic is the Scott Jorgensen versus the Eddie versus Eddie Wine, not the Eddie Wine, Eddie Wineland. Um, yeah, it's going to be a really good card. Uh, I'm about to do another one of these videos for the Strike Force card coming up. Uh, I think it's July, but I think I'm going to do it now. Just to, just I want to do it now. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, this isn't until the 8th of June, which is next week, Friday. So they're doing a lot of cards on Fridays at the moment, but I think it's these FX cards. Because the next fight after this is... Another UFC on FX, which is Maynard versus Guida, and that's on the 22nd, which is Friday again. So, um, I prefer these Friday cards to the Saturday, because for us here in England, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. On a Sunday morning, it's like, uh, you, you know, you're kind of wrecked for the Sunday. But at least these, you're up late on, on, you know, on a Friday night anyway, so... That's quite cool. Um, so, that's pretty much it. Uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.